Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I want to do a baby update video and I want to thank some of my subscriber friends for encouraging me to do these. I was a little bit worried that, you know, people wouldn't really care. That's not what people watch me for, but I have become friends with a lot of you. So thank you so much for encouraging me to do baby update videos and also so that I can look back on these and, and reminisce myself. So I will still be doing my other videos, of course. I am ten and a half weeks and I have a Doppler, which is a little at-home ultrasound device that you can use on top of your stomach to hear the baby's heartbeat. And I can hear it now. I also want to do this video as kind of an instructional video for those of you who are just here searching for videos like this. So if you're here and you just want to hear the heartbeat, I will try to remember to put a timestamp below to where we get to that part. But I, uh, a little, I asked my doctor, so a couple of little details about using the Doppler. I asked my doctor about them and she actually said that she doesn't really like them too much because there are a lot of times where her patients will use them and they can't locate a heartbeat, which is actually really, really common, but understandably the patient still freaks out a little bit because they weren't able to find the heartbeat and so she'll get messages from patients who are in that situation. There is another video that's really good on YouTube of a woman, and I will link it below, a woman who found the baby's heartbeat at eight weeks, two days. And that video is really, really helpful. So definitely watch that one too. And I didn't find the heartbeat that early. My doctor said that probably 12 weeks I would find it. And she said maybe, maybe, maybe 10 weeks. And so it's 10 weeks. I, um, we found the heartbeat at exactly 10 weeks. So I'm now 10 weeks, three days or something like that. But we found the heartbeat at exactly 10 weeks. So I hadn't been trying all that much either. I think the time we tried before, I think I was like at eight and a half weeks because we had an ultrasound at nine weeks. Anyway, I don't want to blab too much. So I am going to get into showing you how to use the Doppler and we will hear the baby's heartbeat. So obviously things are going well with the pregnancy and I'm feeling actually pretty okay, all things considered. I am struggling a little bit today, but anyway, so let's get into that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so after I filmed that intro, I needed to take a nap. So I just woke up from a nap. So this is what the Doppler looks like. Kind of looks like a little mini karaoke machine. So it has this little thing and then it has this attachment. And so I'm gonna plug this in. Now, they all come with really easy to follow instruction manuals. I don't think that the display on this one is working quite right because it has three different modes of reading the heartbeat. One is what the actual heartbeat is, two is like what the average heartbeat is, and then I don't remember what the third one is, but it doesn't really work anyway. It kind of, the number just jumps all over the place. And when we did find the heartbeat last time, it just had dashes, like it wasn't reading anything, but there was a loud and clear baby heartbeat. So anyway, I'm just going to show you how I use it and then we will hear it, but this display on this one won't mean anything. And I've seen other videos where that happened, but anyway, here we go. So I've already popped out with a baby bump. I think a lot of it's fat because my appetite's been like crazy but I will show you a baby bump side shot after this. So you start off with the ultrasound gel or aloe vera. I just have aloe vera that works just as well too and you put it between your belly button and your pubic bone more toward your pubic bone and I put a pretty generous glob so I'm gonna do that. I'm having trouble seeing. My boobs are also bigger. I'm having trouble seeing that region of my body lately. So there's that and then I like to turn this all the way up. The volume is on the side and then just wait to turn it on until I have this device placed because otherwise it makes this really loud sound that's kind of annoying. And then I'm just gonna put it down. So last time the heartbeat was like right above my pubic bone, front and center, so let's hope I can find it that easily. I will edit this so you don't have to wait while I search all over the place, but here we go. That's my heartbeat.
That's my heartbeat. I should switch hands so that you guys can see what I'm doing with the little wand. Okay, I switched hands so you can see what I'm doing with the little wand. I'm not left handed though, so that might make this harder. is not reading right. That's it. Oh, see, I barely moved and I lost it. That's how sensitive it is. The display is working. Okay, so I found it and I was like right here over toward the right side of my body. So it's pretty low. It's definitely, it's right above your pubic bone. Um, and that's what my doctor advised me to do. That's loud and clear. Okay, so I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna clean this off and I'll show you my bump and tell you a little bit more about how it's going for me at 10 weeks. Okay, so I don't necessarily always have the flattest belly, but it's definitely a lot flatter than this. And um, this has popped out. It suddenly popped out about eight weeks actually because my appetite was so strong. So a lot of this is fat. Some of it's blow and then some of it's baby. I think it's probably 50% fat and then 50% some combination of the rest. But that's because, you know, my body was telling me to eat a lot. That's kind of leveled off. Only a handful of people at my work know and I was walking toward one of the people that knows and she just looked at my stomach and she said, oh my God, who are you kidding? And I, it took me a second, I didn't know what she was talking about and then she said, Overnight, literally overnight, <laughs> she was looking at my stomach. So there's definitely a difference. Like, it was drastic, it popped out, and I'm 10 weeks. Actually, like I said, it kind of started at eight weeks, and so I started Googling pregnancy belly shots or at early on, and some people don't show at all, but it happens, it happens. So if you're showing and you're early on, don't feel so bad. I was really, really hard on myself, especially as someone who is never taught to love their body. It's been kind of a tough challenge. Otherwise, I am, my stomach has just, it just never really feels settled. I feel nauseous sometimes, queasy sometimes, kind of lightheaded, really lethargic, really weak. Uh, but I have heard of women feeling those things, but like 10 times worse than I'm feeling them. So I feel really, really lucky. Um, I feel lucky to be able to take frequent naps because this is the second video where I'm like, I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> um, but it's going really well. I will put a more well thought out update together. I really just wanted to do the Doppler in this video and, and share the heartbeat with you. I'm gonna insert I'm going to insert a clip at the end of this of the audio of the ultrasound heartbeat, which was amazing from the first time we heard the heartbeat. So I will insert that at the end and, and 
kind of play out the video and end the video there. But I thanks for joining me. And um, if you are new here, I hope this was helpful. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and leave a comment below. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Kate. Um, anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.